Here is your weather briefing over the next several days, brought to you by the National Weather Service located in Riverton, Wyoming. Basically, bitterly cold. Check out these cold temperatures this Thursday morning. These values are mainly from area airports through 5 a.m. The coldest temperature recorded so far across western and central Wyoming was 33 below in the Snyder Basin, just west of Big Piney. Let's take a look how long this Arctic air mass will remain in place. On the weather map for Thursday and Friday, it shows little or no change in our Arctic air mass. The only change will be some light snow breaking out across the west Thursday night into Friday as a moist westerly flow develops in response to a storm system dropping south across the Pacific Northwest. On Saturday, the storm system will push into the Great Basin with light snow or flurries expected across much of the Cowboy State. On Sunday, this storm system will exit into the plains, but another system will begin to dive southward out of Canada, bringing a reinforcing shot of Arctic air into the Cowboy State Sunday night. Right now, it looks like the area will be in between systems and mainly dry Sunday, but can now roll out some light snow depending upon timing of each system. On Monday, the fast-moving disturbance in the northerly flow should quickly pull into the plains with a cold northwest flow with possibly some mainly mountain light snow on Monday. By Tuesday, there is hope that a warm-up will commence in earnest as the main cold low shifts into eastern Canada. Here is a glance at high temperatures from this Thursday through early next week. It will be barely cold. Normal highs this time of year range roughly between 25 and 35 degrees, so most places will still be below average even on Tuesday, although it will be a bit warmer. Here are some safety tips in dealing with the extreme cold weather. At temperatures between minus 15 and minus 30, it only takes about 20 minutes for frostbite to occur. The most susceptible parts of the body are extremities such as fingers, toes, earlobes, or the tip of your nose. Dress for the bitter cold by wearing multiple layers with minimal amount of exposed skin. Also, please don't forget about your pets, making sure they have an adequate shelter and a source of unfrozen water. Thank you for watching, and remember, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well as through your mobile device. Have a great weekend and try to stay warm.